stack. Friends, it is a very happy and extremely welcome sign of the time that since our independence, a large number of engineering colleges and technical institutes are established and more and more are being added to them. I am happy that annually a steady flow of hundreds of engineers specialized in different branches of engineering discipline are walking out of the portals of these engineering institutions. There is no doubt that the number of Indian engineers is continually increasing and should go on increasing. But there is an extremely unhealthy or even positively evil trend that been gradually but definitely developing among Indian engineers. I refer to the newly emerging caste system among engineers. Like the traditional caste system, we must take immediate steps to destroy this menace. This would be in the interest of the engineering profession. Each engineering caste has its own scale of salaries. Each caste appears to have its distinctive style of living, almost exclusive friends circles, its own set of hobbies and spare time activities, and each has practically its own sphere of existence, rarely crossed by either members of caste above or castes below, excepting official and formal contracts on the shop floor or in factory office. Each engineering caste or even sub-caste appears to have acquired and assigned higher or lower status in Indian society at large. Each engineering caste is highly exclusive and status conscious. Each caste looks upon the caste above it with envy and certain amount of inferiority complex. It is also vigilant to find faults with its higher casters on some ground or other. Also, each engineering caste looks upon with certain amount of contempt and superiority complex on the castes supposedly below it. What is deplorable is that diploma holders voluntarily accept their inferior status compared to degree holders. In the interest of the engineering profession, attempts should be made to destroy the engineering caste system and accompanying barriers among them. It is the underlying mentality that is extremely harmful and needs to be dealt with properly. <coughs> In the first place, it must be understood that a degree either from the Indian Institute of Technology or from Engineering College is not necessarily the true index of knowledge of a candidate nor of his capacity in an engineering establishment where he may happen to be serving. I do not want to be little the significance of formal education spread over five to seven years in engineering college or higher technical institute. Such education and degrees do indicate the inherent ability of a candidate to grasp the various theories, his industry and application during the college career. And yet, in the engineering field, severe limitations of such academic education must be acknowledged. The engineering caste system has been showing practically all the evils associated with our traditional caste system, namely exclusiveness, lack of mobility, superiority and inferiority complexes, etc. The evil consequences of these can be easily imagined. <coughs> it is possible to look at the engineering caste system from a new angle. In each engineering establishment, different successive layers are emerging. I am afraid the whole system, though 
not as rigid as the engineering caste system to which <clears throat> I made a reference earlier is getting simplified. Certain amount of rigidity is creeping into this graded system with dynamic technological changes taking place all around. I wonder whether such rigid system would be conductive to efficiency. I am thinking as to whether the six layers cannot be reduced to five or four, whether the time required for movement of papers from one layer to another cannot be reduced, whether the structure of duties and powers cannot be made more flexible and whether by thus reducing the complexity of the class structure, functional efficiency of the entire industrial establishment can be increased. Interest in one's professional job, intensity of application and also capacity for hard work should alone be the criterion of judging an engineer whether he possesses or not engineering degree or for that matter even formal education in well-established educational institutions. Even engineers must judge only on this basis and not on the basis of different degree as at present. Hence, achievement is basis of engineering profession, not status. At a number of industrial estates, people with no degree and sometimes not even with formal liberal education have set up and been running successfully sophisticated engineering companies employing a number of engineering graduates. Engineering industry is a result-oriented one and these so-called uneducated entrepreneurs with keen interest in their jobs and capacity to learn and work hard have clearly demonstrated limitations of formal engineering degrees. Once you begin to accept merit and achievements as the basis of judging the worth of a person and acknowledge the fact that highest type of merit may exist in a person without a formal degree that will help in demolishing the emerging caste system and barriers among Indian engineers and unite them all in a single professional fraternity. This will be to the good of both engineering profession and the country. Dear Sir, we thank you for your inquiry of the 10th instant and in reply have much pleasure in enclosing here with our quotation for your requirements. The prices quoted are net for delivery X go down Bangalore and are subject to a discount of 10% to you Karnataka sales tax surcharge and any other fresh government levies at rates ruling on date of supply will be extra to your account besides freight and insurance. In the event of an order, the materials would be supplied in about 6 to 8 weeks time from the date of acceptance of your order. This delivery is given in good faith and we shall not be held responsible for any delays due to reasons beyond our control. With regard to the payment terms, we write to state that 20% advance to be made with the order and the balance against presentation of dispatch documents through bank at site and as per our present policy, it is not possible for us to give credit as requested in your inquiry. Please note, you will have to make your own arrangements for insurance of the consignment as our responsibility ceases as soon as the goods are handed over to the carriers in good condition, securely packed. Regarding bank guarantee, ours being a firm of repute, we would request you to kindly exempt us from paying this amount. The prices mentioned in the enclosed offer are the current ones and those ruling on date of supply will be charged. We would like to point out here that the prices mentioned in the attached quotation will hold good only 
in the event of your order for the entire quantities mentioned in your inquiry as we have quoted special prices to you in view of the quantity involved. Kindly note that this offer is strictly subject to the terms and conditions stipulated above and not to any other terms and conditions. We trust you will find the offer in line with your requirements and look forward to the pleasure of receiving your valued order which will have our best and prompt attention. Thanking you. We remain yours faithfully.